Okay, hi everyone. Ooh, hold on. Camera got a little bit low on me. Hello, how are you all doing? The chat has been so much fun to jump into and uh, say hi to everyone. I love how you're getting so chatty. It's like around that 1130 mark, all the uh, usual muslings jump in and you start chatting with each other and you're talking about your different projects. And we're talking about paints right now in terms of, you know, color intensity and metallics and all that good stuff. It's, it's fun to hear and it's fun to do. Uh, so... <laughs> First of all, hello to everyone in the chat. It is fantastic to see some familiar names. It is also great to see some new ones joining us today. So hello to you. Uh, Kevin just jumped in. He's a watcher, but he hasn't joined us in a live stream yet. So you're in for a ride, sir. And uh, of course, to the usuals, we have Quinian. We have Dungeon Matron. We have Puddin just joined us. Kelly, um, I know I saw a few others in there. I jump in. Jan, I saw you jump in a little bit earlier. I'm looking at the, the chat's just like streaming up on me. So always, always good to have you. Happy Wednesday. I can't believe we're almost done with October. What the heck happened, people? First of all, time out. Hold on. It's the 23rd? Ah! <laughs> Your muse is realizing she's got a little bit of limited time before she's got to get this whole, you know, cobalt press terrain thing pulled together. But I'm very much looking forward to uh, this particular miniature today because this is something that stemmed from all of you. <laughs> I don't even know how we got on this last week. Who is guilt? Who's the guilty party who started the whole troll thing and then painting the trolls pink? Um, that's really what has inspired this whole thing. We're going to take this troll from WizKids. Uh, it's a troll miniature you have seen probably many, many, many places. It's actually a sculpt I like a lot. He's got some really cool details on him, which is actually why I did the pre-work on him. And I'll explain the funky coloration with skin tone. So I always, I always do something a little bit different. Oh, and thank you. To yes, I, um, I've, I've embraced the red. And I'm going for the red. I'm actually really liking being a redhead. And so does my camera because we don't have as many um, balance issues as we did before. Um, but this miniature is actually really very nice. I like it a lot. This is going to be my third time painting it, but a little bit more irreverent in color selection. But it has these really cool things like the musculature, the vein work, which is something... Ooh, that's a little bit too close. A little too close. The vein work, that's something I want to embrace today and show you a little trick when you're doing... Um, skin tones and oh yay Jan you got your next cobalt cobalt press oh my oh cobalt press has a fantastic kickstarter going on I will talk about that in a heartbeat um and they also have these uh there's also like in the let's try it again there are also these great boils on the skin as well uh so it's one of those things where I want to bring out these funky details even though yes this guy is going to be pink He's still going to be a fantastic pink paint. I, I can't, this is just going to be hysterical. Creature Codex is honestly my favorite Cobalt Press book. That is my go-to first grab uh, without question. Hello, Johnny. Thank you for joining us. And thank you very much, Opera Ghost. Yeah, I like it. It's a fun hair color. It suits me, darlings. However, I'm finding because I used to wear so much red when I was that very, very dark indigo blue. It's kind of wardrobe shift. So this fellow, I'm going to first start working on the veins and the boils and giving them color first. Rock on. Don't know why I just did that. Um, reason being is I'm going to do a thin layer of color over the top. Now let's talk about how I have this guy prepped. Skin tone can be a very, very tricky thing for people because of the, uh, basically your skin isn't a set flat color. So when we go to paint with green boils, oh dear God, <laughs> chat's distracting me. So when you go into paint flesh tone, a lot of times what happens is people go into the flat color and then they're not happy with how it looks because it just looks almost dead, uh, flat and dull. Reason is because you can't just go in with one fell swoop of a color. That's going to be one of those things where you're not going to get a flesh like effect when you're done. So what I did first is I thought about the undertones I wanted this creature to have. Um, I didn't want it to be a coolish tone. I wanted to have more of a warm tone to it. So I actually, uh, this is the whiz kit, so they come primed as it is. The, it's one of those things that's yay, thumbs up. They've gotten so much better at it too. So for those of you who may have used miniatures from about, let's say two years ago for the Vallejo primed miniatures, they have fixed a lot of the issues that have cropped up uh, that people are complaining about myself as well in terms of like the weird tackiness, the thick coating. 
more and more of these minis that I'm getting from WizKids now, they have vastly improved. There's very little I need to do with them now in terms of prep work. This guy, all I need to do is just go into the seams and I just kind of cheated today because, you know, time. I did the uh, super glue in the crack and then baking soda on top and just quickly brushed it off. I didn't buff it down because I thought it would be cool to keep the texture on here and kind of treat it like a gross scabbiness. That was my own, you know, prerogative. You can file it down with a nail buff or a nail file and use like the buffing side of things to smooth that out if you want to. Uh, but that was really, really all I had to do. So then what I went, then what I did is I went in and using my smoky ink from the Vallejo game line. So this fellow, I used this to put the first coat of color onto him. Once that dried, I went in and I did my dry brushing. Yes, the troll does have dreads, which is going to be fun. We're going to decide on a hair color a little bit later. Um, so once I did that, what I then went in to do is I took actually did two color blend. So what I did is I took the pale flesh and stonewall gray and I mixed the two together. Uh, reason being is I didn't want it to go into a flesh tone completely. I wanted to get these gray undertones because that is something that naturally happens. Uh, you will see in your own flesh, you have variations of color. Now I am, cor I am of course not exactly the best person because she pale folks, but my own skin tone has different colorations to it. There's some um, looking here I'm seeing yellows I'm seeing some pinks up at the top of my hand uh, you get this more purple coloration as you get closer and then of course the fun thing is and I want to play around with this and this is why I'm going to show you the vein work um, I want to have it so you get sort of this play of the vein color underneath the flesh tone because you can see it going on here with my own so that's really why this miniature looks as it does really quick color lesson for you without going too Oh, crazy, because trust me, that stuff can get pretty darn heady. So I basically went for a mid-range undertone, uh, which is a neutral gray, is really where we're going with this one. So, um, oh gosh, that's funny, Quinian. So what we're going to do first is I want to first address <laughs> the boils. Now, I love how Dungeon Matron is saying uh, green boils. So that was, was, that was going to be my next question. Do you want to make this look like he's just a really grody, a grody fellow? Because that could be something fun to do. I can add in the grody factor after we get the flesh layer on. Uh, I think what I'm going to do first, though, is give these boils. Since he's going to have this pink flesh, I think I'm going to go in. Ooh. See, that's why it helps to fill your pill bottles. And I forgot to do that. I could do that right now. I might do that right now and put some weight in there. What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go in with this color. Now, this is a, a paint set that I got uh, a year ago for my airbrush. Don't laugh. I actually like using my airbrush paints for my minis with a brush because they're kind of thinned as it is. Um, hello, Akile. Oh, and Viper. You were in there too. So I'm going to go through it. I'm actually going to put this color onto all of the boils first. That way, when it comes time to, as Dungeon Matron just typed in, grody him up, it's going to have a very angry, infected look to it. So what we'll do is we'll start off with this color, which is a number. <laughs> and I'm terribly sorry. It's a number from this particular line, the U.S. Art Supply Airbrush Colors, Water Base, da-da-da-da. Um, and it's their 809113. It's a whole set. Uh, it's actually a pretty decent combination. So a little trick I'm going to do here. Pardon me. Excuse me, pardon me. All right. So I forgot to put weight in my pill bottle. So what I'm going to do is just fill this sucker up. I have, this is sand, and this is like one of those um, lime shine or something like that. It's it's the stuff you use to clean your dishwasher and washing machines. So I'm going to pour some sand that I have already in this container. And this just helps give it some, of course you get the lovely fine grain dust. This is going to help weigh it down so it's not playing tipsy-turvy on me. Topsy-turvy. Tipsy-turvy, that's a new one. Pale pink skin with hot pink hair. Oh my god. This is going to this is going to be quite an interesting looking fellow. So I'm going to start out with giving him the uh, angry looking red boils. The paint matches my background. Isn't that funny? Yeah, it's something that um, I think it's off of Amazon. It's not a well known paint brand, but I have found it helpful to use. And like I said, with this guy, we're kind of being fun and goofy and irreverent. So why not just pull out other paints? So let's get started with that. And hello, Eleftheria. How are you? And this is the one thing I don't like. It has these little circular tabs that come off. I'm going to put that to the side. All right, so going in with this color, it's kind of a, um, it's almost like a, a low-key magenta, if we want to describe it. And I'm going to go in with one of my favorite little fine tip brushes, this fellow. This is the one who has a little angle on it, which I actually like the look to it, 
because it makes it easier to dot and get into little angled places. Um, and again, this is from the, the I always have it, Royal and Lang Nickel. Uh, brand, which you can get at Walmart. Uh, the pack of these brushes, I want to say it's like $6 tops. Tipsy Turf. Oh, that's right. We were talking about how this would be a great drink. Thank you for that reminder, Puddin. Um, hello, Jesse Price. And did I say hi to you, Todd? I don't know if I said hello to you. So let's go in and we're going to use this, uh, this lovely red on all the boils. <clears throat> and he actually has a lot. So I'm going to just go through and get this on here and again this is going to make it look really pustulant and infected and i do think that putting in maybe like a green pus kind of like the acid nod would be great speaking of acid if any of you are followers of the last air jim davis <laughs> his character uh, we got him drunk in one of the episodes. Slain got drunk, and Slain had this very interesting theory as to why trolls have their whole acid thing going on. He, I think he pretty much... Whoops, I'm chattering and not keeping it in frame. I think he pretty much broke all of us with that meandering. So go over to Cobalt Press on Twitch. I think we have it clipped. And it's just... God, I was cracking up. It was something about how um, acid in your stomach to help you kill trolls was his drunken rant as slain as a trollkin. He was talking about like his heritage, his character's heritage. It was just one of those things I I was dying. But I I've really lucked out with players. They are fantastic. They are enthusiastic. They are creative and clever with what they're doing with their backstories. I'm thoroughly enjoying what they're uh, doing with things. And we just found out getting picked up for a second season so the last air is actually going to carry on for another season 16 episodes huzzah we have oh god four more left things are gonna get interesting soon yes they are all right now see this is why i like this angled brush because there are these couple in here that they want to dot but the angle is funky forgive my shaking today folks i did have to take my inhaler so it makes me a little bit um tremorous However, I've learned to work with it. Go figure. There we go. Look at all these boils. These are just some of them. This is just getting started, people. <laughs> Hello, Danielle. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that you're under the weather. Pink lemonade and pineapple vodka. Pineapple rum. Don't give me the rum. Don't give me the rum. Actually, maybe give me the rum today. I'm running on I'm running on fumes today. It's been busy. All right, I'm looking for more boils on this arm. Yep, there are a few. Like I said, this sculpt is extremely detailed, which makes it very cool. But anyways, I think what we'll do is we'll get this color on and then we'll do the uh, flesh tone on top once we address the veins as well. And then the boils will get a, I'm liking a very vivid green concept so it's like the boils are filled with acid <laughs> yeah it's not well yeah it's still going to be the last air i hope no gremlins pop out of boils i mean stranger things of the month occur. but it's one of those things where uh i am i'm thinking about what we'll do for the next season and where we'll go with things because margrave is just massive and right now they're exploring Eastern Margrave. I took them through, they started out Western, took them through Central quickly. They had a little dalliance, well, not even a dalliance, but they had a little stopover in Olchek. And now it's going to be a matter of getting them to figure out what the heck is going on. But I'm playing into a lot of the lore for the Eastern Margrave right now, uh, which is where the whole last air comes into play. But all will be revealed at the end. Peach schnapps. <laughs> nope. Not a fan of peach schnapps. Nope. For some reason, it just, it doesn't, uh, it doesn't taste right for me. It's grody. It's one of those grody liquors for me. That's a no thank you. I will pass. You might as well uh, offer me Jaeger. Nope. Neither nor. Thank you. Yeah, he's got lots of boils. Holy moly. I forgot how many this dude had. 
Who knows? We may carry this over into next week, which quite frankly will be fun as we get into Halloween for the whole grotesque factor. Also, my allergies are bunny bugging me, which is why I'm doing bunny nose right now. I'm trying not to sneeze. Nope, don't wanna. I don't wanna sneeze. Somewhere a whole bunch of wishes just got granted. <laughs> uh, one little boil, more little boils. Oh, this guy has a lot on this side. And again, it just helps when you're doing finer work like this to have a nice um, tip to your brush. And it actually helps to have a little bit of a dot of paint at the end. I find that gives me better control. And again, for me, I'm not the brush snob. I go for the style that works best for me, not so much the brand. I have really liked this particular brand. I will say that for being a cheap brush set, they're actually kind of fun to work with. Um, but Plaid always sends me really good sets as well. So they keep me in my paint brushes. That's for sure. Let's see here. Oh, you guys are chatty chatty. How do I mitigate the shakes when I have them? It's a matter of, um, locking my arms in closer to my body. So let's see if I can show you. So what I'll do is I actually just push in tighter. Instead of keeping my arms out, I'll lock them into my side. And uh, your forearms will be a little bit tired after a while, but that's how I sort of control how shaky. Cause see, if I leave my hand out with my elbow up, my hand starts to tremor. But if I lock it in, it gives me more control. So that's how I do that one. Hopefully that helps you. We shall see. I love how you guys are going into this one <clears throat> with the drink. And maybe he's a teenage troll with an acne problem. Hey, that could be a storyline for him. He's just cranky because he can't get a date to the troll prom. And now he's taking it out on everyone else. Ha 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 ha. I'm just checking. Yep, see, there's another one. He's got a lot of boils. You're going to find, you're going to keep turning this mini and finding more and more. Like right through here, he's got three. One, two, three. Maybe the troll was hairy and he tried try shaving. <laughs> well, now that's a theory, isn't it? <laughs> that's hysterical. Too funny. Okay, maybe maybe that's what's going on. He um, he was trying to remove his natural sweater god too funny you are too funny people Oop, there's another one I'm telling you there's one right there there's a one and there oh there's more i feel like that sales guy but wait there's more there really is more hold on Holy moly. <laughs> Look at this guy. Nair for trolls. <laughs> there you go. I think. Nope. 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 She spoke too soon. She spoke too soon. I really am liking how Technox has these playlists. It's making it so much easier. Uh, this is a WizKids Mini. It's their troll miniature. Uh, very easily able to get on uh, Miniature Market, Amazon, your friendly local game store. They're usually in there. At least my guy has them usually. I don't dare say I got them all because I'm going to say I got them all. And I'm going to find one more. Yep, look at that. Look at that. On the elbow. There is one on the elbow I missed. Oh, he's disgusting. Who's going to start the trolls GoFundMe for some aftershave? <laughs> Natural sweater. Oh, come on. You haven't heard that term before? I mean, hey. That's what I've always called it. Bilbo Boils. That's kind of like a tongue twister. Bilbo Boils. Okay, I think, perhaps, hopefully, probably, I have all the boils dotted with this uh, magenta red. Now I'm going to go and I'm going to do the vein work. And I think for the veins, I'm going to do this Warlord Purple. 
Hex, no, Hex Lycan, not the, not the Warlord. I'm thinking the other one. Yeah, this one, the, this, this war, war, Warlord purple, it was too pink. I want the um, veins to have more of a bluish tone to them. So I'm gonna go in with Hex Lycan and just very carefully paint over those veins. <sighs> it's way too descriptive. Sorry, sorry, not sorry. Mm. You never know, depending on what the, uh, let's pull you back into frame a little bit there, darling. You never know what the sculptor uses for their points of inspiration. I mean, it's one of those things where, even with the stuff that I create, I'll bop around and look at reference photos and everything like that. Um, oh, this week for a pink troll, I'm, nope, I didn't even bother. This is one of those things, it's like, let's just see what happens. Hit the points I know I want to hit, like the veins and the boils and talking about the uh, coloring and everything like that. Now this is going to be fun. The other thing you can do for shakiness is put your elbows on your table. Like, you can hear my elbows right now. Uh, that also helps steady you. Okay, I have spilled my tea twice today already. I almost spilled it again by doing that with my elbows. So what I'm going to do is just very carefully start pulling this purple onto the vein. Hold on. There we go. And I'm trying to keep my brush elevated a little bit higher than I normally would just to catch the upper portion of the vein because I don't want this to settle too much into the lower recesses of the skin. But this is going to have a cool look once we get the pink tone on top. Good morning, John S. And how are you? Yes, the pink troll. Oh, look at the long troll toes. I'm thinking the troll toes. Troll toes. Troll toes. Troll toes. Oh, that's going to be a fun one, too. Um, we could always have some fun and give him, like, a pedicure. Manny Petty line because he's got the claws and he's got the uh, long toenails going. Oop. I'm headbutting the camera. Sorry about that. Bring you up a little bit. This almost has like an anatomy poster look to it right now. <laughs> but that gets the veins going on this one. Is that all the veins? Yeah, that's all the veins on this arm. And then I have... Were there any on the legs? I forget. Yes, there is one through here and over here. So yes, the legs do have them too. <laughs> I love that everyone's excited for this pink troll. I have no idea what he's going to look like when we're done. That's the fun of it. I will also sometimes hold my breath, which is why I get quiet. And the little trick I use, but I breathe. Don't worry. I will jump in and breathe. Get the vein work there. I think that's it on that one. Nope, I lied. There's a vein right in there. There's one on the wrist. There's one on the wrist. This song has like a spacey vibe to it. It's pretty cool. All right, so we got that one on the wrist. Oh, one right here. On the bus set. Why was there not, oh, there was one. I was like, well, if there's one on that bicep, why not the other one? There is one. It's hiding. All right, there's a vein right there I want to get. Kind of got lost with the nose and the. He looks like he's he fell asleep sunbathing. <laughs> oh, he's gonna look interesting. That he is. All right, that gets the vein there. 
Look at those claws, I'm telling you. He's out to get you. Let me just very carefully get... The ones on the legs are not as raised, I will say that. So you kind of have to finesse that a little bit more. I think it's the only one on that thigh. Oh yeah, it's, it's definitely a lot of detail on this particular mini. He's got so many little touches to him. Like I said, it's a good, for those who've joined me in the very beginning, it is a really good sculpt for this particular mini. I like the details they've put into it. A little bit more about Hex Lycan on here. Okay. Is that one? I think that is one. We're basically playing find the boils in the veins right now, folks. <laughs> you know, he could look like he's a singer with the pose. There you go. He's our rocker troll. He's practicing for his set. Mm -hmm, maybe. Stranger things have known to occur have been known to occur. Alright, I think that's all of the vein work. I think. I think. <laughs> Rock and roll troll. Good night, Seattle. I don't know why I just did that. <laughs> Hi, Dice Guy. I'm a little punchy right now. Okay, so that gives us the boils and the veins. I think what I'll do, because I want those to be dry before I start doing anything with the skin over color. Uh, let's do the mouth. Let's get the mouth painted up. I think we need to do that. And he's got this tongue. He's also got this wide open. So I think what I'll do is. I actually have tempted to. Do I want to do that? I think I might put some of the purple in the back part of the mouth and then we'll give the tongue a vivid pink. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that. All right, so I'm going to go in and still using hex lichen. Just going to carefully paint in the back of the mouth. Get it in frame, that will help me. As you can see up through here, I'm getting the soft palette behind the teeth with the hex lichen. And I'm going to get the tongue and the gums. And we'll do that. Rock and troll. Oh, I think we just found our, uh, our rock and troll who's tripping on acid. Hey. It's a thing. It's totally a thing. We're totally going to do that. Okay, so... That's that. The tongue I am going to do... What color? I think I'll actually do the tongue the same color as the boils, but then I'll do a uh, highlight of a lighter pink on it. Is how we'll handle the tongue. The gums, I'm definitely going to do a different color. So we'll get that tongue going. Yeah. yeah that'll work. Yeah! We do have some of the teeth as well on the bottom jaw. All right, so I'll get that, and then I want to get the gums. Second Jesse on what? Um, I wonder if they have a mini of Darkness from Legend. Hmm. You'll never know. Hello, Mia. Hello, Ron. By the way. Okay, so now the gum line. I am definitely going to jump to the Warlord purple now that I had spoke of before. So that's going to go on the gums. Also the lips, I think. And that'll be our little color for that zone. Now I am going to be careful about not overloading my brush because I don't want his teeth to get all pinked up. So I do want to get his gum line going. So it's our rock and troll. I like this idea. He's a reggae troll. <laughs> well, no, I have seen some... Uh, some rockers with dreads, I will say that. So we never know. Okay, and I am going to do the lips the same 
color, but since it's going to get the flesh tone over it, it's going to change it. So just very carefully. He's got lipstick. The glam rock. Glam rock troll, Marley. Actually, I kind of like that. Marley. Hmm. And we can always flip around your minis so you can get to different angles, which is what I'm doing right here. Mm -mm. Can you see what I'm doing? Sort of, kind of, shadows in the way. Story of my life. Okay, that gets the mouth addressed. Marley the Troll. Glam rock troll! Oh wait, who does this remind me of now? Now that we've shifted into glam rock, it just reminded me of someone. Bowie light and bolt on his face. Oh my gosh, could you imagine? All right, Jesse, thank you for stopping by. Have a fantastic day. Don't forget, Friday I'm back doing some terrain stuff, which I'm still trying to figure out what I'm going to show you guys for Friday, but I've got plenty. I've got plenty, plenty going on in that respect. Okay, that gives... My God, it does look like lipstick now. Too funny. Again, letting him dry some more. Um the eyes. I'm going to put some black in the eyes first. Black out the eyes so that when I go back in no, I want the primer one. That one's not corn. <laughs> there we go. Thank you, Manny. Thank you very much for piping up there. See, I just ordered more Citadel washes. I probably should have gotten this guy's done. This is done. See, hold on. Hold on, I need my black. <laughs> Gonna go behind the curtain. Twentieth century troll. This is this is a troll that you could use for um you guys have retroverse yet? That's a pair of uh, friends who've created this retroverse using the whole Dungeons and Dragons setup and it's really cool. It's like eighties punk uh, cybernetic blend neons it's really very cool um just type in retroverse and you'll definitely get a feel for what i mean in the googles Oop. all right so i'm going to go in, going to go in now with black and literally just get black out going on the eyes because when i go back in to do the white of the eyes oh come on you know what let's there we go because then I go back in to do the white of the eyes. It'll kind of give it like a liner around them. So he's got these intense blacked out eyes now. Demon mode. I don't know what his uh, loincloth's going to be. I haven't landed on what to do for the loincloth. But now I'm thinking like some day glow esque colors could be hysterical. If we're going to steer into this retroverse concept. Okay, so... He's looking funky. The scab work I'm going to do after I get the color of the flesh on. Because that is over the flesh, not under. He wants to be on the vo voice but was voted off because he tried to eat one of the judges. <laughs> Ooh, neon blue. We have electric blue. And magic. We could start it off as magic blue and then highlight over with electric. That's a possibility. Yoink, she says, while the both colors are pretty much hidden name-wise. Start with this dude, shift to that dude for highlights. <laughs> hey, if it's retroverse, nothing clashes. It all goes together somehow. Oh, God. Squid pink. <laughs> all right. I think he should be dry enough now where I can start putting the flesh color on top of everything and not have it go muckety-muck. We shall see. And this is where it could all fall apart. I kid, sort of. All right, so what I am doing for this pink flesh, I don't want to go all out pink because that's going to do this funky flat work and I don't want to do that. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a flesh tone, add it into the pink to bring it down a little bit so we have a pink flesh tone. Um, don't want to clash. He's from the clash. There you go. It's the clash's troll. So I'm going to get some of this flesh tone out on my plate. 
and then use this. This is almost like a bubblegum pink, like some of you were requesting. So it's sort of a bubble bu bubble bum, bubble bum, bubblegum pink. <laughs> but we're mitigating its brightness down just a touch. Kind of like what I did with the, the piggy. Our good friend, the piggy. All right, I'm just going to take this in. And there we go, so you can see a little bit better. So it will be pink. It just won't be pink. I guess you can quote me on that pink. So see, it's just a little less, um, hello. I am going to thin it a little bit further because I want to treat this almost as a glaze. But first I'm getting the colors blended together before I add any other thinning medium or anything like that. Otherwise it gets interesting. So, no, that's not the bottle I want. Here we go. So I'm going to add in some thinner. Don't want to clash. Actually, no. Uh, do I want to use the glaze again? I forgot I had that glaze medium. Uh, I might do a little bit of both, quite frankly. All right, so I'm going to add in a couple drops of the... A couple drops, meaning a few, of the glaze medium that Vallejo has with their... Uh, this comes with the kit. Same thing with the airbrush thinner. Five and three. And let's get this mixed up. I want this to be sort of the consistency of skim milk. I always try to do foods that are commonly used for people. Okay, so I do want this to, again, be more of a glaze than a thick coverage of paint. Let's see how that works. I'm actually going to test it out on myself. Yeah, that works. See? Glaze is over. It's not filling in everything. So that's what we're going to do for the flesh tone. I'm just right, wipe my wrist off. And then which paintbrush am I going to use is the next question. Because I do have to get in some milks and crannies. Yeah, I think I might use this guy. So I'm, again, I'm going back to this. I like these guys. What can I say? This one I've used so much is all gone. It's just it's gone. <laughs> but same set as before. Skim milk isn't milk. It's water pretending to be milk. Well, it helps you get a sense of the consistency I'm talking about, at least. All right, so I'm actually going to start down at the feet. And we're going to start getting our pink troll here. The nails we will definitely do. Because this is more of a glaze on it, I will probably have to do a couple layers of this like what I had going on for those who were here for um, painting the pig, which that always cracks me up. When you're painting your pig. But it is getting our pink on our troll. And again, you don't want this to be a very thick coating. You want it to float above the surface. This is going to look so bizarre. <laughs> oh, God. And here you can see where that pink's glazing over the vein, so the vein's not as pronounced, which is what we want. So I think what we'll do is we'll definitely do two layers, because I'm liking the start of it, but as it dries, I think we're going to want to go back in and do one more, one more coat. He should have dirty feet. Well, we can look into that. Oh, and this is totally a Ken doll troll. There's literally nothing under the loincloth for those wondering. Yeah, fine. There are some uh, sculpts I have come across where uh, sculptors got interesting. It seems to be more in the 3D print world that I'm finding that. I will say. I will note. Now I am thinking about what are we going to do for this loincloth color-wise. Let's talk about that. Let's talk about the loincloth, what we want to do for that. I'm kind of picturing... God, almost like... Neon orange. Like day glow orange, maybe? I don't know. If we're going to steer into this like crazy 80s glam rocker troll story. That could be fun. <laughs> it 
Yeah, his anatomy is kind of uh, wincing worthy. I don't know. I don't know. That's that's the way it's been handled. I do find it I find it funny how certain companies handle certain details or won't. Speaking of miniatures, I did get the minis for Mace. Uh, Crippled God Foundry sent them to me. They sent me their cleric from their uh, Curse of Hollow Hills Kickstarter. So for anyone who's going to Mace and they're going to do that painting class with me, we'll get to paint up that awesome dude. I just have to assemble 24 of them. Yeah. That's going to be fun. Yeah. I'm liking this pink on him. This is a fun pink. He's definitely pink. Not like pink, but, well, I mean, not like pink, the actual singer pink, but his color is pink. Hold on, I'm just going to get a little bit more of the, whoop, that's too much, that's too much. Looks like I missed the inside of this foot here. Except my brush was a little bit more loaded than I wanted. Okay. So now you can start seeing how the pink is starting to take over. Let me get those veins going. Uh, thank you, Yon. Plaid loincloth. Why do you guys want plaid? <laughs> uh, plaid means I really need to think and plot ahead of time. All right, now we're going to move this up into the body. I will say when it comes time to paint the flesh, it helps to sort of tuck it in. Do this before you paint your dreadlocks. Like I said, this is like my, this is now my third time painting this troll. It definitely helps to get the paint up into the dreadlocks first. You can see here, especially the boils, how it's muting it down just a little bit. So it look grody. Hello, kitty one cloth. <laughs> Oh, God, you guys are getting funny with this one. Hearts? Put hearts on it? Good Lord. Is that a dreadlock or is that the skin? That is the skin. Sorry, I pulled out a frame to look at something. Oops, see, I forgot a boil right there, but you know what? We can leave that as one that's sort of brewing. A brewing boil. Yep, I just went there. That's what I just said, folks. Tickle the underarm pitties. Oh, this guy is pink. He is pink. This is fun. This is definitely fun. <laughs> Hello, kitty. Hello, kitty. Well, hmm. See, they get a little bit territorial about their motif getting used. I hate to say it. Hello, kitty will be quick to uh, try and claim something. So we won't be doing Hello, kitty. Nope. Cute. Yes. Monetization safe? No. Sad to say. Oh yeah, I like how that's looking. Look at, look at that. See? <laughs> Leopard! <gasps> Ooh! Winner, winner, winner. Because that kind of plays with the orange too. Mixonovicski, I like it. So our pink troll with a leopard loincloth. <laughs> yeah, this guy is going to carry into uh, next week, I have a feeling. I'm not complaining, as long as you folks don't mind. Yeah, we're we're going we're going in that direction. We are absolutely going in that direction with the uh, loincloth. Too funny. I love it. Cause that goes into the whole like glam rock thing. I remember those guys having like leopard leggings and stuff. So ta da. Yay, he's looking nice and pink. I'm loving this. <sighs> Greeting, Mousy. <laughs> clever, Max. Quite clever. Um. Well, I mean, Steve, I do this every Wednesday. I sit and paint. <laughs> if other people want to sit and paint as well. Uh, using Hello Kitty. They will go after you for using their product as a means to get... Uh, traffic your way in SEO usage or anything like that so I don't want to give them reason to yoink my monetization so no Hello Kitty besides I'm honestly liking the whole leopard 
print a hell of a lot for our rock rock and troll. <laughs> rock and troll. This has been so ridiculously fun to talk about and figure out. Oh my gosh, I'm having way too much fun. <laughs> Pink troll. <laughs> I should have stockings. Oh, you guys. But that's like so appropriate with Rocky Horror Picture Show. Oh, damn it, Janet. Oh. <laughs> yeah, this guy is definitely taking an interesting turn. I knew this was going to happen, though. I did. And the way you guys jump onto things and our little meanderings it cracks me up. Trust me, I'm all for it. This is fun. Okay. Slowly but surely. Uh, it would be a little tricky. I'd have to play around a little bit, which is why we would definitely be going into a uh, second episode for this, because there's no way I could do fishnets in a timely fashion. And I'd want to experiment first in terms of curvatures and whatnot. But it would be freaking hysterically funny. Which is why I'm actually considering it right now. What'd you do? I put fishnets on a troll. <laughs> Could you imagine? Could you imagine trying to explain the stream chat to people who have no idea what we're doing? So yeah, I talk with these people every Wednesday and we just kind of go on these things about different drinks and painting miniatures in bizarre different colors. <laughs> <laughs> a tattoo red nails oh mailman that like fire engine red nails that would be cool we could have fun with that yeah I definitely like the idea because I could do like a metallic red so it doesn't look like um bloodied up nails it looks more like nail polish if I do a metallic red on the nails that would be a lot of fun Okay, let me get to the hands. Let's get into the handiwork here. <laughs> this pink. Oh my god. I need a pink trolley. But yep, this is this is this is where we've gone with this fellow. Pink and leopard print and red nails someone mentioned a tattoo the fishnets a big heart with mom do we have space for that where could we put it on him let me think about where that tattoo placement would go she said <laughs> oh my god oh, i can't believe we're talking about that his tattoo placement Right, still going with this pink. Dude's got a lot of flesh area to cover. But you can see he's getting more pink, and you can see how that pink isn't just a flat blah. We have some interest with the uh, vein work and whatever. This is going to dry, and I will do a second coat on it because it's still kind of streaky. I don't want it as streaky as it's coming out. I want this to have a little bit more of a smooth cover. But that's sort of a risky run when you thin out your paints sometimes, especially these paints that are a little bit, you know, they're already thinned. But it's just a matter of going back in the second layer. But again, it's glaze level, so it's not like I'm doing a thick layer. It's very thinned out paint. I think that gets all the hands, the legs, da 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 da, da. The face. All right, let's get this on the face now. <laughs> Hold on. Why? Why is wig hidden? Come on. Sorry, Steven. YouTube decided that wig was something that we couldn't do. See, black nails. See, I thought about the black nails, but I'm kind of liking red. That's kind of fun. 
Right, let me just carefully get through here. Get his brow and the nose. I may jump down to a smaller brush. Hold on. I'm not may. I am going to jump down to more narrow. Twisted sister troll. <laughs> it's looking more like Rob Zombie. This is hysterical. <laughs> I didn't even consider this to be a rocker type of troll until y'all start going on about it. But I'm seeing it. I am absolutely seeing it. Yeah, the face we're going to clean up a little bit, not to worry. Right now it's just getting the basic colors going. Mm. All right, I'm going to have to pull out of frame so I can actually get here. Tramp stamp that says, wait, put in. Ha! Huh? Put in. Mr. J. Sorry, this is such an awkward angle. If I try and do this on screen, I am not. I'm basically getting the chin area. But it's got some nooks and crannies to work around. Thanks to the dreadlocks. We almost got it all. <laughs> Didn't we almost have it all? Wrong 80s. Yeah, this is why I'm going to do the uh, dreads after. Okay, so we're going to let this pink thoroughly dry. Because if I touch this now and do a second layer, things are going to get pulled up. And I don't want to do that. Uh, hello, Joelle. How are you? He really needs a little microphone now. I mean, that's something I could pull together easily. Oh, I could. Oh, I have some beads that could work in a pinch as a microphone. He's getting a microphone. He's absolutely getting a microphone. So we've got that going now. He's going to have a microphone. Okay, I do want to give him... We're going to have to. We absolutely are going to have to. Dungeon matron. Totally good idea. Yep. Okay, so I'm thinking... Because I know I am going to do an Agrax on this. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take hot orange... Or orange fire. Take it back. Orange fire! Yay! And put that onto the loincloth itself. And then I am going to have to look um, for a couple little reference things. There's, there's a, is it jaguars or cheetahs or leopards? There's something about the shape of their spots that I want to look at. So what I'll do is I'll get the orange fire. I can't believe I'm doing this. <laughs> orange fire is going to go onto his loincloth. Let me just rinse my brushes. Get the brushes rinsed off. I'm going to jump over to a different style brush. Not that one. Definitely not that one. No, 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 no. Oh, come on. Yes, you. Again, I'm dealing with this group, so it's got a nice pointy tip. It's a little bit thicker. So I'm going to use that for getting onto the loincloth. If he's a Steven Tyler troll, the microphone should have a stand with little scarves on it. We have to do that, don't we? Because that was a thing, wasn't it? They all had like scarves and stuff on their microphones to look cool. Oh my God. This, this, this fellow has taken a vastly different turn, but I'm loving it. Okay, so uh, next week I'll add a microphone. I could put, I could. Have it so that the stand is sort of here, microphone goes up there, and then we have the scarves that drape down. Oh, this is going to be too much fun. This is, this honestly, this is the mini I never knew I needed. Truly, the mini I never knew I needed to paint, but here we are, folks. Okay, so I did thin out the hot orange as well, right? That's what I'm using, the hot orange, yes. Because, again, I want the... Um, underneath the show as well just be good about moving that paint around making sure it doesn't pool or puddle oh 
I have got to heart this playlist. I haven't had to skip a single one. I'm liking this. This is a good one from Technoax. The one, I think it was the Haunted one, wasn't it? The Haunted one, I had to jump through a few songs every so often because it just got to be like that irritating... Red Nails, Leopard Loincloth, Mike with Scarves, Tattoo Labeled Mom on His Back. Thank you, Mailman, for writing down the list of the things we're doing at this point. <laughs> oh. Okay, now how about this? I get this guy painted up and I put him up for auction for a charity. Do we want to do that? What do we think? That could be something fun to do with him. Actually, that could be a lot of fun to do with him. Oh, shoot. I got a little orange. I don't want orange. Hold on. There we go. Tuck it back a little bit, and then we should be okay. <laughs> Hi, Brent. <laughs> yes, I'm painting the loincloth. It's going to be leopard print. But because we decided he's kind of like an 80s rocker, we're using this bright orange for it, which I think is just fabulous. All right, I am going to jump down to a smaller brush now because we're getting into tight quarters again. Hold on. I know I like my brush. Don't yell at me. Why be normal? Why ever be normal? Quite frankly, I think it's more fun when we do this kind of stuff together. How irreverent and off the wall can we be as our silly lunch break selves? You know what? How would you guys feel? What if I kept going with this on Friday? Instead of doing the terrain, I kept going with the mini. Because I'm going to have a hard time sitting and waiting to finish him up. I'm having too much fun with this. <laughs> I like that, Kevin. Kevin, that's a good idea. What do we think? Put this guy up for auction and uh, proceeds go towards a breast cancer research facility type of thing. Do we want to do that? That could be a fun way to handle this guy. All right, bear with me. I need to think. One moment, please. One moment. That's the edges of this loincloth that drive me nuts. That I'm trying to get right now. That's where it gets a little bit fussy. Help on moi Yeah. Okay. I think, Kevin, you just help us land on a charity. Oh, I love this. Okay, so when this guy is finished in all of his glam rock 80s neon craziness, pink skin, we will absolutely put him up for auction. And I will look into doing that and figure out, ah, how do I want to do that? If anyone knows of a good site that would help me facilitate that, I would very much appreciate your help. And finding a site where we can kind of have it where it's, I mean, I guess we could do it on eBay, but then eBay, doesn't that take a chunk out of it? Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Finish them up on Friday. Let's, let's do that. So Friday, we're going to skip the stream, not skip the stream, but shift the stream from the terrain to doing, because I was actually debating like what I'm going to show you for the terrain, because I'm still working on the stalls. Um, so instead of doing, no, I need a narrower brush now. So instead of doing the terrain stream, we're going to keep going with uh, this fellow. Oh, I'm liking this. We're going to have a lot of fun with this, people. See, this is what makes you all so awesome. All right, I'm going through, and there's this. This is the one thing and always bugged me. I'm now getting there's this upper portion of the loincloth above that rope that I want to get. So I've jumped down to my very narrow brush. It helps to do the rope last, for sure. And again, that angle to the brush really does make a difference in reaching some points. I don't know why, it just do. 
Okay, so I need to do a little background research myself. <sighs> Survivor. Oh, this month? Mm. I don't know if we're going to get in this month is the problem. I will have to see because next week is pretty darn tight for me. Um, unless if I could get someone to volunteer themselves to run the auction for me, just basically keep an eye on it and things like that. Next week is jam-packed for me, so I don't think I'd be able to get it in. This month is the issue. Probably more in mid-November when I could actually run the auction itself on my own Steam. I think this is going to be an awkward one to try and show you what I'm doing here. Because of the angle we got going. Oh, hold on. Hiccuped a little bit. Hiccuped a little bit. Pink ribbon as a tattoo. I think it's going to be hard to show with the pink skin. But I do like the uh, idea of Survivor. Hold on, I'm going out of frame so I can see. All right, so we have that going. I'm just making sure I've gotten... No, I have not. I need to get, <laughs> get that part of the loincloth. Don't want to forget the undercarriage. I think we're looking better now. This guy is ridiculously funny. <laughs> da, 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 da. Yeah, let's let's see what we can do here. I'm liking this. Okay, I think yeah, the skin is now. I didn't eat that much this morning, and my stomach's growling now. Uh, so I will go back in now and get another layer of that pink on, so we can. Get a little bit more of a consistent coverage. Hold on. Hold on a minute. And then what I'll do is I will... How are we doing? It's one o'clock. All right, so we're at the top of the hour for one. I'll get a second layer for the pink going. Again, I don't want to go too 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 thick but I do have a feeling that one more layer is where we want to be for coverage yeah get going with that there we go nope you ever have that spot where it's sort of the back and forth of the brushes keep slipping on each other yeah, it's this section of the loincloth against the skin. At least for this many for me. My personal little hiccup zone. <laughs> eBay for charity. All right, good to know. Hello, what you looking at? We've gone a little bit, uh, we've gone a little crazy today is what we've done. All right, so I will look into that eBay for charity factor. See what I can get going. We'll work on this guy a little bit more on Friday, too, for the fun of it. Ah. All these angles sometimes, I tell you. If anything, I think the wash on his skin is going to be the uh, Reichlin flesh tone because that has a very pink tone to it. I don't want to lose the pink too much. But... I do like the way that looks a lot better now. So that's moving along. Yep, yeah, this is going to be fun. Our rock and troll with his pink flesh. We'll make a nice little custom microphone stand with scarves. <laughs> Prior to, to Wednesday and Friday and Wednesday, do you mean, Quinian? Hot pink wash? Mm, I don't know. I don't want to make it too pink. The Reichland has a nice muted pinkish finish to it, which is why I'm going to go with that one. Oh, 
Oh my gosh, this is this has taken such a turn to so many different directions I wasn't expecting. I'm loving it. Yes, you see the veins are kind of peeking through now, almost like varicose veins. I didn't want those sharp, sharp edges to it. I wanted to be more muted down. Oh, good luck to you, what you're looking at. Buying a house. <whistles> that can be uh, quite the thing in life, can it? All right, yes, I like the way the legs are looking now. Let me just quickly get a little dab in there. My God, this is a riot. This is an absolute riot. What did you do today? Painted a pink troll. Made him look like a rock and roll troll. <laughs> oh, oh, I see what you're saying. Your videos. I'm thinking my streams. Wires crossed. Yes, that would be very cool. Thank you, Quinian. Hold on. Because the heat is on. Bye, Joelle. Thank you. Have a great day. I just added a little bit more uh, paint thinner because this is starting to dry up a little bit. So that's what that's about. That's what's happening right now. Oh my goodness. <laughs> okay, so I'm trying to think of what I'm going to use material-wise for the scarves. I have some material I can put to use that I think will be good. Well, this just got slightly militant. What is this? Hardcore training is the title of this one. You don't say. Okay. First time I'm going to skip it. This is distracting me. Bye-bye, hardcore training. Cannot. Cannot deal. Nope. That's a heavy nope. It was much too much. Mas to mas. That was stressing me out. That was ruining my little troll vibe I had going. Let's see what we're getting now. Now we're getting dystopian paradise. That sounds a lot more, a lot more in line. Uh, da, 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 da. Okay. Oh. Well, I mean, you never know. <laughs> a nose ring. Could I? Oh, that'd be tricky. I don't know if I could pull off a nose ring. Hmm. I don't know if I could, but I want to. We just keep adding to this and it's cracking me up. Get it inside the hand here. The nails we'll do next session. That is for sure. <sighs> Could I, me, wear a nose ring? I mean, I'd love to, but my body has this lovely tendency of rejecting earrings or any type of piercing. Once upon a time, I had a belly button piercing. That lasted <laughs> like three months. Do I have a small chain? I do have. That's just it. I have this really cool black chain uh, with little links to it. I'm wondering if I could manipulate one to do what you you were probably thinking the same thing to make that to clamp on. I'd have to play with it a little bit, but that's a possibility I'm thinking. So yeah, we shall see. Because that's kind of where my brain was going to with that. Next week's basically going to be adding on like all the uh, extra little extras. <laughs> I do like that skin tone. There we go. Yeah, it was definitely a two-layer. A tongue stud. Maybe. Maybe. 
I could cut the hint off of a pen, of a pin, not a pen, a pin, and glue that on. I don't know. I'll play around. Maybe we could add a little bit of um, body modification jewelry somehow. Just to kind of ante up the whole rocker thing. That could be very cool. <laughs> yep. My day's dressing punk or visiting you. There you go. See? When your past comes back to help you, isn't that grand? Okay, yeah, I'm getting that consistency I want for his uh, flesh, for sure. Did I get in there already? I'm trying to remember. My mind is worrying with everything now. The hand, the inside of the hand, that's what I need to get. Okay, here we go with his pink skin. I'm just drying now. And we'll go and we'll do the little dots of the uh, green on top of those boils. But you can see how putting on that red, it's more subtle. It's not something that's going to be glaring. You don't want it to be glaring, but you get the differentiation of the lighter pink and the darker, more sort of amped up, infected pustules. Looks like he's doing a deal pose. <laughs> All right, let me get some of this on the face. And then I will be done with the pink. Actually, let me jump down to a smaller brush. Uh, this troll is doing so many different things at once. Who the heck knows anymore, right? How are we doing? 11, 111. Okay. I can't, I can't carry this past 130 because I do have um, mom obligations going on later this afternoon. So I gotta get a couple things done before I'm running out of the house. To take your little, the mini muses. Oh my gosh, this is a riot. I'm not gonna go to. This one I'm gonna do is just take sort of a brown and dry brush over that to bring out the texture so it looks like he's got uh, some uh, scabs going from old, old boils. <laughs> Good lord. You are quite an interesting fellow, aren't you? All right, I'm liking this coverage for his skin. Yeah, as it's drying, it's getting the undertones going too. All right, so I think what I'll do now is, um, let's talk about the hair color. What do we wanna do for the hair color? Do we wanna make it the blue? Wish you had seen him before his demise. Just go to WizKids. It's their, it's their sculpt, what you're looking at. <laughs> so do we want to do that electric blue for his hair? Is that what we're thinking? Because we can absolutely go in that direction. And that would be fun. What do we think? have to be a tiger pattern oh that's the other thing I need to look at hold on leopard print right girls got to look at the uh, reference photos leopard print <laughs> images please yeah that's what I was thinking okay so leopard print is sort of like two C's facing each other on top of the orangey tone. So that I'm going to have to play around with a little bit. Yeah, I'll play with that next week, I'm thinking. Because if I try and do this this week, nope. So let's try and get the hair color on. <laughs> Dark gray. 
Think in the blue. Ride the Latin in blue. That's a rebellious troll. He is a rebellious troll, isn't he, though? Alright, so we'll do the blue. So we're gonna jump into the blue. I'm gonna start with magic blue. His dad wanted him to raid villages, but he just wants to listen to him. He met a bard. Maybe maybe this fellow met a bard and was very impressed with the bardy bardiness and wanted to become one himself. But with all this rage, he turned into more of this rocker style. Look at, we're getting this whole backstory going for our troll now. <laughs> I haven't used Magic Blue in a very long time, so I need to uh, make sure I shake this up. So Let's see, Starting Caver Cavern Ambient is the title of this one. Yeah, it still needs some shaking. Still not liking that. <laughs> You're so grody. But in the best of ways, darling. <laughs> this is too funny, people. This is just too funny. He's definitely pink skinned. There's no way around that. He is pink skinned. Rock and troll NPC. Turquoise hair. Well, I think it's kind of the direction we're going to be going here. Yes. Tattoo Mike with scarves, red nails, and leopard print loincloth. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to have to go back and watch this and screenshot that list, <laughs> mailman. Oh my goodness, this is a riot. Where'd your pink troll go? Into the land of rock and roll. A rock and axe. I don't know, I mean, we could kind of use the mic as its own, like, kind of like a staff. Right? That can be, his, his, we his weapon can be his microphone. <laughs> oh, this is so ridiculous, I love it. All right, rotating so my blue's a little bit closer to me. Here we go. We're committing to the blue, folks. He's he's gonna have the blue hair. Yeah, see if he was in a different pose, an axe-shaped guitar would be killer. No pun intended. Now he's really gonna get interesting. Oh shoot, that's right, he's got those ears. Hold the phone, please. Let me use up what's on this brush and then I will fix the uh, fact that there are ears there. Okay, that's enough. Let me quickly, quickly, quickly. <laughs> Multicolored dreads. I think that might get too noisy is the issue. With everything we've got going on, we don't want to overdo it. <laughs> this will turn into the mini of like, where do I look first? Ooh, that's a little bit too much pink. There we go. Right, one pink ear. Oh, that's like just a little tip picking it, peeking out there. Picking out. Peeking out. There we go. Ear. Ear. Oh my god, this guy is a riot. This guy is an absolute riot. I'll probably do some washes on the in-between today and Friday. Yeah, I'm going to jump to a different style brush in just a second. Because that's going to get annoying real fast. The dreads have texture to them, so it's making it interesting to... Uh, get the paint in. I think what I'll do is I'm going to give this a nightshade wash so it'll get more of the recesses and everything and the texture back out and then we'll dry brush on with the electric blue. <laughs> oh no, we had a pun. But puns. <laughs> Check out One Cause website. They do online. And okay. That blue hair and pics in Rom Zombie animated scene, Beebs and Butthead movie. Okay, now I'm going to go back and look at that and see how much of our childhood has influenced our color scheme. I'm going to jump down to a more narrow brush because of the itty bitty details. I'm going to use this guy. Oh 
Huh, this is almost the same color blue as my eyes. Just notice that with the two screens. Not quite. Close. Painting around the ear. So he basically killed some Smurfs for his hair color. Let's go with that, right? Who does your color? Smurfs. Oh, this is going to be fun to get. Again, this guy has some funky angles you're going to have to play around with when you go to paint him. If you, I highly doubt anyone's going to recreate this, but hey, if you're trying, do be sure to spin him around every so often because he's got different zones and angles you're going to need to reach. Oh, for heaven's sakes. Eh, I have to go out of screen for this one. Killed Smurfs. That's just Smurfy. This is out of screenshot because I cannot reach that and try and keep it in camera. There's just no way and I don't want to get blue all over the place. That's like the last thing on my list. Okay, there we go. So see, got the... These two dreadlocks are annoying. <laughs> Those two dreadlocks are hard to hit. That's annoying me. Yeah, I think we'll get him painted up with his dreadlocks. And then I'm going to let him do a complete dry. And then Friday we're going to come back to him and do all these fun little details we've been talking about. I think is the best way to handle this. Oh, he's become quite a character. You know what would also be fun is if we got... Um, like a stats sheet. What do we think about that? Like doing stats for him and have it go along with him as part of the auction. Basically build this up as an NPC or if someone wants to play it. That might be a fun way to handle it too. What are we going to name him? We're still sticking with Marley? Ugh, these little side bits. Spinal tap. <laughs> I love how you've been like thinking about the voice now. Yeah, I, I I do get a sense of like this, you know, very rock risk accent going broad and rough and tough type of voice. That's, that's what I'm hearing with him, at least. Marley the Smurfalator. <laughs> oh, God, the Smurfalator. We're sick, people, you know that? In the best of ways. We're creating the backstory. We're creating the reasons why of everything. <laughs> I think that could be fun. Fun. I think it could be fun if we give him that. Whoops, there's a blending of accents. I think it'd be fun if we did do the um, stat sheet to go along with him. Look into different bard classes and see what would be fun to pull. Take this troll stats. Oh my goodness. Rock and troll. Let's not paint the ear. That would be bad. All right. Surprisingly, the dreads take a lot of time because of the various edges to them and this texture in them, which I'm absolutely going to bring out a little bit more with um, the nightshade from Citadel Wash. And then I'll go back in and highlight with the electric blue. With a little dry brush move, I'm thinking. And that should help. But holy my goodness. This is a riot. He attempted to steal Smurfs from Gargamel. 
Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think we're sticking with Marley. Marley's kind of where we landed in the beginning, so we'll stick with Marley. I'm just trying to get carefully the raised portions of the dreads around the face because that's fun. I think that this is the one thing I'm not nuts about is the dread sculpt. And the texture is pretty interesting to try and work with. It's probably my one complaint on this sculpt entirely are the dreads. But I mean, that's a pretty minor complaint for whom the bell trolls. This is too much. Mm -hmm. Alright, we're back to the fun of getting these dangling dreads in front of the face. Nope, that's the ear. Don't paint the ear, V. No painting of the ear. This is so, so funny. Not where I thought I was going with him today, but we're there. And I'm enjoying the process with you all. I may have to pull this out of shot soon because it's getting to those funky angles again. Oh, let me see here. Um, For whom the bell trolls, rush, do do do. I go for ACDC. Solo career Aussie. <laughs> These angles. Right, I think I have him as blue haired as possible. Oh, my darling, aren't you a sight? So here we have him with his pink skin, which is very pink. His blue hair, which we'll play around with a little bit more. The loincloth, which we will make leopard print. That's going to get to be interesting. How are we on time? Yeah, we're, we're getting to the hour and a half mark. Um, nails will be red. Try and figure out a nose ring. Nose ring, oh my god. The microphone. The rope, I think we have to make like a gold lame style-esque rope. For sure. To really get to that 80s glam rock. Oh, this is too funny. Yep. Yep, we're, we are we are absolutely going to have to do this. Okay, so next week, here's the game plan. Next week, what we're going to do, I am going to give him... I love how bizarre we are, Dungeon Matron, quite frankly. So he's going to get a leopard print loincloth. We have the orange down. That just means I need to get the spots on there. Uh, so that's going to happen. I am going to make the rope wrap a gold, sparkly in your face gold. The nails... We're landing on red, correct, folks? We're doing metallic red nails. Um, the hair we're going to work on. That's right. The boils, we have to get uh, the green in there for the acid factor. I know. <laughs> oh, God. Sprinkles. Dan. <laughs> um, and then I'll make the microphone stand for him with scarves and everything. I don't know why I'm flipping into my southern accent. Forgive me. Um, so we'll do the microphone stand uh with scarves so there'll be a mic like literally hold on give me a narrow straight and narrow what i do with it oh i must have put it away with the other things i have these very thin dowels that i can put to use that i've been using for the zobek build and i'm done with them so we'll put a little microphone stand right through here microphone on top scarves hanging down uh the hair is gonna get a dress so it looks a little less wig mode the washes are gonna help me with that one um and we're going to put this guy up for auction. And I'm going to find a reputable breast cancer research facility uh, group. Uh, the Komen Foundation is a no. They don't supply their money where it needs to go. So I'm going to look into uh, smaller ones and see what we can do with that one. 
but yeah, so this guy is definitely going to get glam rocked up next week. This is going to be fun. Oh, this is going to be so much. Not next week. No, Friday. What am I saying? Friday. On Friday, we're going to get this guy finished up and ready. And hopefully we can get him up and on auction uh, soon. Because I think that'd be fantastic. We'll put him up for auction. Uh, any funds raised will absolutely go towards the group that I'm going to try and find. And, um, oh my gosh, this is an absolute riot. So that's going to be it for this afternoon. Thank you everyone who helps create this Marley rock and troll. <laughs> Who'd have thunk when we start off with a pink skin troll, we'd be ending up with a glam rocker troll bard. So like I said, oh, and the uh, character sheet, we're gonna have to get the character sheet pulled together for the auction factor too. So the person's gonna get a fully fleshed out miniature and PC and PC they can work with uh, once they uh, win the auction. So that's the plan. I love spending my time with you all. This has been fantastic. Uh, I will see you on Friday where we will continue on with this fellow. He's gonna be so much fun. I am super pleased with how he's looking already. I am gonna do the washes in between. Save us some time because trying to watch, watch washes dry gets very boring. So take care, everyone. Uh, be good to yourselves. Be good to each other. And I will see you all. I am not doing the fishnets. That's not happening. No fishnets. I will see you all Friday. Same time. Same place. Same mini. With some uh, extended results. Take care, everyone. Love you all. Bye-bye.